Today I'm going to be showing you a tutorial on how to render in After Effects, Adobe After Effects CS6, CS5, CS4, any version with audio. Now there have been a lot of tutorials on the web um, about how to render with audio, but most of them seem like, you know, a lot of stuff. So I'm just going to go and do this quickly straightforward video on how to render with audio in Adobe After Effects. So uh, just a little sneak peek of how it's going to sound. It's going to be with a fade in and a fade out option and it's going to be rendered in a video in full at the end. So I pick club to death and here's how it's going to si uh, sound faded in. There you go. And by the way this is my intro guys to my channel so uh, make sure to check it out. Okay so first of all create a new composition. Okay, let's just say the composition is going to be audio sample. And let's say I want it to be 20, 22 seconds long, for instance. Here we have a new composition. We have to import the audio clip that we want. And that is going to be found in my external hard drive right here, club to death. Okay, so we, ex we imported the audio clip and we want to plug it in the composition file into our project and as you can see it has the audio but you can't really hear anything at all why is that well because in Adobe After Effects you can only hear it when you ram preview uh, ram pre preview it I'm sorry and as you can see it renders it and it previews it and uh, you can hear it so how do you do the fade in and fade out okay so what you do is you click on this little arrow to expand the options you go to audio, you expand the audio options also, and then you see something like audio level. Well, for that, you actually have to do the waveform, expand it, and then you see audio levels. Now, you see right now it's at zero decibels. Uh, zero decibels is the normal range, the normal sound of uh, what it's playing at. You can hear it on YouTube pretty loudly. Now, you want to put a keyframe in the beginning of the video when it starts. To, f to make a fade, in, a fade in effect. Then for example, I use two seconds. I, I make two seconds for, I let it fade in for two seconds from a very quiet sound to a loud sound. And then at two seconds, uh, let's put 48 decibels. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, zero decibels, guys. So the zero is a normal one. We forgot to do, um, for the beginning of the clip, we forgot to put 48 decibels, which means it's literally not even like playing any sound so double click double click on this or put your clip there negative 48 decibels no sound at all as you can see right here no sound then at the end of the clip which is 22 seconds in this case you put another keyframe make sure it's zero decibels and then to fade it out you put negative 48 decibels as you can see and as you can see there's no sound here there's no sound here but there's sound right here in the middle just like we wanted it okay so now if you want to export it and render it with sound render the video with sound you have to go to composition add to render queue and then don't mess with the render settings don't mess with the output to well you know wherever you want to save it save it there but mess with the output module when you click the output module on the bottom it says audio output check mark the box now I usually use 48,000 kilohertz and 16 bits in a stereo option 48,000 kilohertz is is very good quality it's not the best quality but it's very good quality and 16 bits it's not the lowest quality so it's in the middle guys I use the middle range uh, quality for the audio uh, I, I would prefer use, using 32 bits, I've never used it before, and the highest option, but I, I don't know what's going to turn out uh, after that. Like I said, this is not the best quality settings for the audio, this is just how to render the audio. And make sure this is set to stereo, guys, uh, in a QuickTime movie format. And then when you press OK, it turns into custom QuickTime format. So when you render the video, uh, for this, in this case, I don't have a video, I just have the audio file for the sake of this tutorial. It will render with sound. 
So there you go guys, that's the end of my tutorial. I hope this helped. I hope I explained a lot of things to you uh, with a fade in and fade out. And I appreciate you guys watching. Once again, if you have any questions or concerns, request a tutorial at my Gmail, RussianNogsTutorials at gmail.com, or send me a message on YouTube. I am glad I could help you guys, and I will see you next time. Goodbye.